Well, Sharice, out of respect of the privacy of worship, our camera was not inside during today's mass, but I can tell you the bishop got a standing ovation after talking to parishioners about what the church can and cannot do to help. My mother has been detained and it hasn't been an easy situation for myself or my siblings. 22-year-old Karen Regino is the oldest of four and a new mother. Born and raised in Manchester, she's now taking on the role as mother to her siblings while their mom is detained by ICE. It's not something I desire, not even to my worst enemy, honestly. This is your mother. and. My mother's everything to me. Karen's mother has been held for two months. We're hiding from this government and it's unfair because we're not here. We're not bad people. A young pregnant woman also spoke. Her husband was recently detained. She has no other means of support. She has another child. The situation is such that being so frightened what's going to happen, it's having an effect on her physically. Bishop Peter Lamashi stands by the idea that from a safety standpoint, churches are not an appropriate place to offer sanctuary. But their lives are so much in turmoil at this point, so we help them to make, remain as normal as possible and go forward trying to deal with the cases as they are. The church and organizations like Granite State Organizing Project are meeting with the families and accompanying them to their court dates. If there are really 12 million people without documents in this country, and many of them have been living here for 20 and 30 years, they are our brothers and sisters, and so it's really rewarding to be a part of this movement. The Granite State Organizing Project will hold a prayer vigil outside of the ICE office in Dover next month in support of those coming in to check to see if they're being deported. We're live in Manchester, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9. Siobhan, thank you. President Trump tonight is calling on Middle Eastern nations to take the lead in fighting terror. The commander in chief issued the call surrounded by leaders of nearly every Muslim country. During his address in Saudi Arabia today, the president assured leaders that the U.S. isn't at war with Islam and urged Muslim nations to work together to drive out hate. America is prepared to stand with you in pursuit of shared interests and common security. But the nations of the Middle East cannot wait for American power to crush this enemy for them. The president also visited a new state-of-the-art global center aimed at monitoring and combating extremism. Well, Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals is tonight in Cleveland, but the Celtics are without their star guard. Isaiah Thomas might need surgery after re-injuring his hip. WMUR's Mike Cronin is live in the newsroom with a preview of tonight's game. Mike? Sharice, the little guy pushed himself as far as he could, battling the physical pain and dealing with the tragedy of losing his sister. Isaiah Thomas will talk to specialists tomorrow.